Hey everyone, and welcome back to the multi-dimensional journey. This is Ayahuasca Carr, and thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Um, if you are new to this channel, know that this channel is all about mental health, wellness, spirituality, exploring non-ordinary states of consciousness, and we talk a lot about ayahuasca on this channel. And if you are returning, thank you so much for continuing to return back to the channel. Um, I'm really, really thankful for all of you who keep showing up, keep contributing to the community, um, you, you know, without your intention um, and your hope for basically self-exploration, um, I wouldn't be able to do what I am here to do. So um, thank you, thank you. And um, today we're going to talk about um, being aware of the observer or the witness within all of us. And we talk a lot about this concept in mindfulness, uh, the observer mindset, witnessing what is happening. Um, but sometimes it can be really hard to kind of activate that part of ourselves or locate that part of ourselves when we feel really stressed out. Um, maybe if we're in rumination or we're really in our head, um, just going over narratives or stories and we're just caught up in ourselves. So today I want to go over a really awesome technique that will really snap you into that um, and cultivate a practice for yourself so you can come back to that over and over again. Um, there are a lot of different ways to do exactly what I'm about to show you, but I want to show you something that I've learned. Um, I was actually inspired by it through the Wim Hof process. And in the Wim Hof process, you do breath holds. And I always notice whether I'm doing Wim Hof or um, just breath holds in general, that's where I'm able to see the observer. I'm able to be the observer and go deeper with it. So I really hope just by going over this, it kind of helps give you some insight and kind of understand some things internally a little bit more. So you always want to start the practice with um, deep breathing. So you can either do that nostril and mouth breathing or all mouth breathing, but so, the representation of the continuous breathing, because you will be doing continuous, is kind of actually to represent um, chaos or the distractions, or you know, um, maybe we're in the process of breathing, you know, circular to actually um, get rid of energy or to move energy, especially maybe when we first sit down to our practice. But once we actually get into it, once we pass the warm up. Right, we start to sink even, even deeper into the breathing experience. And this is really great from a physiology standpoint because we're, you know, we're really moving um, energy, we're moving, um, we're, we're bringing life into maybe some stuckness that's happening before we sat down. So all of this is happening, we're, you know, bringing in oxygen, releasing carbon dioxide over and over again. Um, and emotionally and mentally, this is clearing out a lot of things. And then when you do the breath hold and it doesn't have to be very long, that's your moment to kind of, you almost want to imagine yourself sitting back in a chair and looking around. So let's just get into it together. So whenever you're ready, you can do in through your mouth or out through your mouth. I'm just going to do all mouth breathing. So we'll do 10, uh, circular breaths here. Good, last one, and then hold on the out breath. So a couple tips, and I'll go through some things with you. Um, 
So when you're breathing, make sure you're breathing into the belly all the way up into the chest. I'm gonna actually lower my camera just a little bit, maybe even move it just so maybe you can see more of my body. Um, or not since my mic doesn't go far, but um, just know you're breathing all the way, belly all the way up into the chest and then out. And when I do it, this is what I recommend, but do what works for you. Um, pursing your lips because it helps you like almost grab the air. So I am forcefully inhaling and out. And kind of what I imagine is like my chakra system. So I'm breathing into all of the chakras and then releasing out. And so you're in this process and as you do it, you notice that energy building up more and more and more, especially if you're going faster. Um, that obviously will create more intensity, um, but you don't have to do it that way. You can also do it slow. And then as you saw me, when I hold my breath, you really want to drop right into here, which is also known as the third eye. But as humans, we think or we believe that most of us is here. And, you know, using this focal point and then actually sitting behind it, like you literally want to imagine sitting in a chair and then you're actually just watching everything that's happening inside of you the thoughts, the sensations, what does it feel like to be in this body? Who is thinking I'm in this body? What that is, you know, developing the observer mindset. And, you know, it's, as I'm talking about this too, we'll get into the thought I just had in a second. But um, so ha and the, the, the incredibleness of this, when you actually integrate it is when you are triggered next time, right? All of a sudden, you can develop over time more of that okay like what's happening right now rather than jumping into the reaction right jumping into the narrative getting into the meaning making of something right so that's why a lot of these practices are breath oriented body oriented because it's not like we're trying to get rid of the mind we we need it it's there for a reason but it's being able to develop this ability to just you know, I'm sure if you've heard this before in mindfulness, like watch the clouds go by, you know, I, um, watching the train go by instead of hopping on it and like getting caught up in whatever ride your mind is taking you on. So doing like three, four, five, however, many, however many rounds of this you feel like you need to do to really get into that, um, experience, right? Cause you'll eventually let go of whatever, you know, you're hanging on to when you first sit down or lay down and do this, I do recommend you sit first because it is like more of a, a mindfulness practice, but you can also do it laying down. Um, and the other thing I recommend is finding a song, you know, a seven minute song, an eight minute song, a five minute song, whatever you feel like you can tolerate doing a playlist where you know it's gonna drop you into like a very supportive and almost trans-like experience. It's meant to support the emotional and mental discovery of yourself. So we'll do it one more time and then I'll talk a little bit more. So whenever you're ready, so fully in and fully out. Even just noticing the sensations here. Keep going. Okay, last one and hold.
So the other thing that Wim Hof has taught me, and as you already know, maybe if you've done Wim Hof, is that that breath hold is actually meant to activate the fight or flight response. And in terms of building resilience around the system inside of us, that can also be a perfect opportunity to take a, a seat back from it. And I, even when I was doing it, I noticed um, a tightness happening. And once I like kind of sat back and watched, I was able to actually release it eventually. So this is also a huge part of the mind body connection, right? So whatever is happening in my, in our mind is happening in our body and whatever is happening in our body is feeding our mind. Um, and so on and so forth. Sometimes it can be a bottom up experience, body's feeding the mind. And sometimes it could be a top down experience. Mind is feeding the body. So the, the most important thing to realize here is that understanding yourself, understanding your own psychology, understanding your own physiology. And we can do that by observing ourselves, witnessing ourselves, um, and, and making this a practice. It definitely has to be something that you come back to. I mean, I do this, you know, at least four or five times a week. I can't say I do it every single day, but I definitely do a mindfulness practice every single morning, um, which has absolutely transformed my life. This is the first year in my life that I've meditated every single day. Um, and it's, it's a game changer. So just keep that in mind if that's something you're interested in. Um, but please do this practice, comment below in what your experience is. I would love to hear from you. Um, and yeah, I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and if you want to stay up uh, to date with videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, remember why you came here.